بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم the next thing is we'll try to understand something about basic service set now in basic service set we will be using access point so we'll be using an access point a centralized device from where we can connect the client devices uh, which is and this access point is going to provide you the centralized place or centralized access or the control to the wireless users okay so all the wireless users these wireless users they don't talk to each other directly they go through the access point so they all communicate via access point not directly so the access point is again responsible for forwarding your frames to the destination you can say that way so the same thing here centralized access and the control over the group of wireless networks now again all wireless devices they don't talk to each other but instead they go via access point now again uh, there are few more things you need to remember while you are using the access point now the access point manages the wireless network which means if you're using an access point now this access point is configured with some kind of ssid if you remember here the example it's configured with an ssid and this ssid is broadcasted so which means broadcasted within that particular coverage area it is going to broadcast the ssid now any device which is within that coverage area can listen to those broadcast ssid messages like if you take an example in my laptop you can see this is the wi-fi or the ssid to which i am connected but you can also see some other SSID also, which are within my coverage area. And of course, we, uh, everyone secure that with a password. So unless and until you don't know the password, you cannot connect. So when you are going to click on the link and when you say connect, it means we are trying to initiate a connection from the client side, the computer side, where we are trying to connect to that particular Wi-Fi network. And again, the access points uh, require the following uh, criteria to join again so we need to make sure that we do have match the SSID of course you can detect the SSID automatically on the client side but if you are doing some manual kind of connection then you need to know the SSID that SSID has to match now apart from that we also need to make sure that the devices whatever the devices you are using like like here I'm using my laptop here and whatever the access point, they must be running the same standards. So there are some IEEE 802.1 standards, like BNG or the commonly used one, and they use some kind of specific frequency bands. There are specific frequency bands like 2.4 or 5 gigahertz bands. We'll talk about this in the frequency section later on. So these parameters should match. Now, this exactly means that, let's say if this laptop supports 802.11 N standard, and I'm using 8.0.11b here, probably that's not going to work. So they must match the same IEEE standards. And at the same time, you need to have the authentication credentials information. Because whenever you are trying to connect, it is going to request for the password. So you need to provide the password. And if the password matches, if you type the correct password, then only you will be able to connect. So you need to know the authentication, authentication credentials in order to ensure that when you connect, you provide the right password and, and connect to the network. So this is to provide security.